South African police and military personnel said rescue operations for miners trapped underground were underway on Thursday. Concerns have been mounting over the well-being of the hundreds of illegal miners believed to be stuck in a disused mine shaft more than a mile below the surface. More than 1,000 miners have already resurfaced, and at least one dead body has been brought up in recent weeks as the police have cracked down. Authorities had blocked supplies of food and water to force them out and arrest them for illegally entering the abandoned mine in search of leftover gold. Police spokesperson Brigadier Atlenda Mate said the force stood by its strategy. We are still stamping the authority of the state. Our mandate is clear. It is to prevent and combat crime. And we are still of the view that what is happening down there, it's pure criminality. The rescue mission continues. And we know that this particular rescue mission, um, phase one of it is being conducted where they are clearing the sites and assessing, assessing the situation underground. Organisations representing those remaining in the Stillfontaine mine say the miners are willing to come out but police operations are prolonging their extraction. Zuelenzi Mavavi is General Secretary of the South African Federation of Trade Unions. The interpretation of the court order to say no non-rescue person can go in there actually now means without the state intervention through its own rescue mission, the, mine, the miners underground are now being subjected to a slow death. They don't get food anymore since Tuesday. No, they, since Saturday. Since Saturday, since Saturday after that court order. They don't get water, they don't get medicine, they are not being brought up. Illegal mining has thrived in South Africa through small-time pilfering and organized criminal networks costing the economy billions of rands in lost income and royalties.